It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Blake Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. to go everyone put that on the shelf off we go <laughs> It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? Sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story makers. I'm Blake, Blake Wordsworth, with a magical hat and a nose for a story. Oh, hello. hello. The children in the library today were reading about cats and dogs. Yes. Mm. Do you like cats and dogs? <laughs> I like dogs best because they bark, oof, 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 and they pant, <laughs> and they howl, hoo. And sometimes when they're feeling a bit sad, they make a funny, whiny noise. <laughs> yes, and I like cats because they are soft and sweet and moo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cow jelly. Oh, yes, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Meow. Yes, well, yes. dogs are bouncy and pouncy, and you can take them for walks. Yes, <laughs> and cats are soft and cuddly and purry. Mm. Well, I wonder if there were any doggy things in this dressing up box. Um, well, no, are there any cat things in there, Jackson? Because I want to be a cat. Mm. I can't understand what you're saying, Jackson. You're all muffly. <laughs> Woof, woof! <laughs> I said I can't see any cat things, Jelly. No. You have a look. Oh, Jackson, you look great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, I'll look now. Have you found anything yet? Moo! <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> meow! Woof, woof. Hello, my furry <laughs> friends. Look at you two. What's Hello. going on? Hello, Blake. Do you like bouncy, bouncy dogs? Mm. Or do you like soft, purry cats? Well, I like cats and dogs. Really? Mm. I've met lots of cats and dogs on my travels. In fact, they seem to follow me around. Ooh. I think they could smell the treats in my magic hat. Oh, do, do, do you keep treats in your magic hat? Oh, yes, always, Sweet Pea. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> oh, he's doing some twirly magic. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and a bone! <laughs> woof, woof, woof. <laughs> there, little kitty, a fishy for your supper <laughs> and a nice juicy bone for Jackson. Calm down, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to make a doggy story with this bone. <laughs> Will you help me? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine the story. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a doggy story. Oh, it's a playbook. And it's called Holly the Hearing Dog. <laughs> cock a doodle doo It's morning and that means it's time to rise and shine. But Mum is still fast asleep. So is Lucy and so is Mungo. Holly's awake, though, and she's really excited. It's time for her to go to work. Okay. The alarm clock's ringing, so it's time for Holly's first job. Wakey, wakey, Mum. Wakey, wakey, Lucy. Time to get up. Wake up. It's a 
beautiful day. Come on, Mungo, you wake up too. Wake up. It's time for breakfast. Holly has hers first so she can help Mum. We're having boiled eggs for breakfast and they take exactly five minutes to cook. Mmm, boiled eggs with dippy toast soldiers. The eggs are ready, but only Holly can hear the alarm. Mum, Lucy and Mungo are deaf, so Holly hears for them. When Holly hears the alarm, she tells Mum by nudging her and leads her to where the sound is coming from. Holly is a hearing dog. Well done, Holly. Our eggs are perfectly cooked. It's time to eat our breakfast, but what about the toast? Oh, no! It's burning and the smoke has set an alarm off. Only Holly can hear it. This could be an emergency, so Holly rushes to Mum but gives her a different signal this time. When Holly crouches with her tummy on the floor, Mum knows this is an emergency. Holly shows Mum the smoke alarm and Mum realises she's forgotten about the toast. Oh dear, the toast is very burnt. Perhaps we won't have dippy soldiers today. Don't worry, Mum, we don't mind just having eggs. Well done, Holly. Oh dear, time to go back to work again. Holly nudges Mum's leg and then shows her where the sound is coming from. It's the telephone this time. Because Mum can't hear, the telephone has a keyboard like a computer. Mungo wants to show Mum something on his computer, but if he calls for Mum, she won't hear him. So Mungo asks Holly to go and get Mum. What is it, says Mum, and Holly leads her to Mungo. Thank you, Holly. We love Holly, our hearing dog. Oh, oh, Holly was such a clever dog, wasn't she, Blake? She helped Lucy and Mungo and their mum because they couldn't hear mm. things. Yes, Jelly, that was Holly's job. She was a hearing dog. Yes. But, you know, there are lots of dogs with jobs. Mm. There are guide dogs who help people who can't see and there are sheep dogs who help the farmer to round up all his sheep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> jobs! Woof, woof. What could my job be, Blake? Mm, I'm not sure, Jackson, but let's take a look at this collage. There are lots of dogs with jobs. Oh. Look, there's this police dog. <gasps> now, police dogs mm. help the police to do their job. Oh, oh look, Jackson, mm. there's some doggies playing in the snow. Yes. Mm. Mm. Ah, now they're called husky dogs, mm. and their job is to pull people on sledges through the snow from one place to another. <laughs> um, mm. Blake, do cats have jobs? Not really. They just like to run around and then yes. curl up into fluffy balls and sleep like this cat here. Oh, oh, oh Blake, look at these doggies. They've got long floppy ears like my ears and they look a little bit sleepy. Mm. Uh, you can't go to sleep though, Jackson. Oh. No, I've got a job for you. Oh, what? Why don't you take one of the pictures and put it in the story machine? OK. Uh, uh, and make sure you take a cat picture too. Right, I, I take mm. this this one here. Mm. Um, what are you doing? Are you coming to the story machine? Uh, oh, no, no. I'm going to do what cats like best mm, and sit on Blake's knee and have a little sleep. <laughs> Will it make a cat story or a dog story? In you go, fluffy catty. <sighs> now we need lots of imagination to make the story machine work. <laughs> jelly, oh, wake up, Jelly. Woof, woof. Jelly, Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a story. What's it going to be? Don't know. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it's a super baby story. <laughs> oh, and it's called Fairballs and Squeaks.
super baby is in the park. Park. The hot sun shines high in the sky. Happy sun in sky. And here comes someone who wants to play. Someone wants to play. It's a dog. The dog is sad because it's forgotten to bring its ball, and it doesn't have anything to play with. Oh. Don't worry, dog. Super Baby will help you, won't you, Super Baby? She's super. She's duper. She really is a trooper. Super Baby. Super Baby gives her blanket a shake. And a little furry ball appears. The dog looks very pleased. At first, that ball is rather cheeky. It has scampery legs and it's whiskery and squeaky. It isn't a ball at all. <laughs> it's a mouse, and it's running away. Super Baby tries again, and a very unusual ball appears. It is ginger and stripy, and it spits when it's nasty, and purrs when it's nice. Not ball. But wait, it isn't a ball at all. <laughs> it's a cat, and it isn't running away. It's chasing the dog. Hooray! At last, the dog can play. The dog is very happy. It wants to give Super Baby a huge licky sniffy hug, which is nice because a hug is just the thing that Super Baby likes. Hugs are squeezy. Hugs are nice. They're just what Super Baby likes. Hooray for Super Baby! She's triumphed again. Super Baby. I like that Super Baby story mm. because the dog and the cat, they were friends yeah. and they played together. Yes, they chased mm. one another and they ran really, really yes. fast. Blake, can you run that fast? Oh, of course. <gasps> really? I'm as fast as a cheetah, which is a big cat, and it's the fastest cat in the whole world. Wow. <laughs> fast as a cheetah, Blake? Not really. I was just pretending. Oh. But I do love to run. <laughs> Should we run on the spot? Oh, oh yes. Ooh. You can oh, run yes. too if you like. <laughs> I'm running. Me too. <laughs> I'm the fastest. <laughs> no, no, I'm fast. No, I'm the fastest. Oh, I know. Why don't we race to the story machine? Yes, good idea. <laughs> on your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we all won! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> and now it's time for a story, I think. Oh, yes. But we need to put something in the machine. Oh, I'm going to put a woof in the story machine. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to put a meow in. Okay. <laughs> and let's put some imagination in, too. Ready? Yes. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Don't let's see. Well, it's a blue cow story. Oh. And it's called Hey Diddle Diddle. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was watching a frog bounce across her field. I wonder what it would be like to bounce up into the air. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place I can bounce really high, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a sports day. And then they arrived. 
Blue Cow found herself in a very busy park. There were lots of different sports being played. Ooh, this looks like fun. Uh, do you like my sack? I'll be racing in it later, <laughs> said the rabbit excitedly. Ooh, that sounds marvelous, Blue Cow gushed. Just as the rabbit bounced off, a cat came along. Hello, I'm Kitty, and I'm part of the band, and I play the fiddle. Are you playing some sports today? Oh, no, I'm just watching. Oh, in that case, I'll show you around. This is the egg and spoon race. She explained. And I'm going to win, claimed a little silver spoon. My name is Sunny the Spoon, and I'm the fastest one here. And my name is Dandy the Dish, squeaked a little voice. All of a sudden, a loud horn sounded, and Sunny went running off alongside lots of other spoons. Oh, hold on, shouted Dandy. Wait, come back. You've forgotten your egg. Moo, dear, laughed Blue Cow as Dandy raced after Sunny to give him his egg. Just then, the dog rushed over. Could you make your way over to the trampoline, please? The blue team are on now. Blue Cow followed lots of other animals, all wearing blue bibs. Right, Blues, I want to see you bounce as high as possible, barked the dog. Ooh, well, try, said Blue Cow, as she heaved herself up onto the trampoline. She bounced higher and higher, until on her third bounce... Blue Cow bounced so hard that a few of the springs popped out of the trampoline and sent her shooting up into the sky, until she bounced right over the moon. The crowd cheered and clapped, and Kitty played her fiddle. Hey, diddle, diddle, I'm the cat with a fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Ooh, what a day! <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a sports day and jumped over the moon. Everyone knows that cows can't jump over the moon. But we know they can, don't we? I'd like to bounce like Blue Cow. Oh. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Well, I don't want to do anything else because I'm too tired. Oh, well, that's because we've been very busy tonight. Come on, Jackson, give us one last woof before it's time to go and... Don't forget to take your doggy ears off. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Come on, Jelly, you two. One last sleepy, furry, purry meow. Oh, yes. M meow. M meow. Ah, oh, just in time, because look. It's getting light. The sun is rising. We better get our skates on. Skate zone. Yes, the children will be here soon. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our story. And we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, goodbye story for now. Makers, <laughs> Thanks for helping us. Goodbye. Story makers, <laughs> See you next time, story makers. And remember, imagine.